Hello everybody, today we're going to review the Firewood mod. The first thing that we're going to look at today is the Firewood processor. The actual machine itself that's going to help you along the way by when using this mod. And you can see if you lease it, it'd be 2,295 total. If you wanted to keep it for multiple days, it's 450 a day, 950 per hour. But if you want to outright buy it, it's $45,000. We've already done that to speed it up. We have it here. The first thing I wanted to take a look at is is it worth it? Later on, we'll get into how to use it, but let's see, is it worth it? So to start off, I have two identical logs. We have a spruce log two meters long and one that's two meters long. So we're going to go ahead and start with this one here and it is August. So we could, you know, maybe the wood prices vary. Honestly, I have not tested that yet. We're going to pop that in here and then get around to the sell point. All right, now that we're over here, we're going to go ahead and hit R and see what kind of money we get. We got $351 and the log changed a little bit. So now we have the same log in the firewood mod sell point. If you go into your construction menu, go to productions, sell point, you can see firewood processor and sell point. You the sell point is right there. I've gone ahead and placed it here. So let's see what we get for this log. And R, we got 351, exactly the same amount. But to take this a step further, let's get one more of those logs. So here, it's here. We're going to first, we'll start doing a little bit of demoing on using this. So we're gonna place it there. We're gonna pretend like we had a nice machine. Hit E to get in here, open up the menu. We're gonna push U to get the belt going. Okay, so now we wanna hit O for it to load the log. And you're gonna see here, it pops it on. The next thing we're going to hit is Z, and that's going to push it forward into the cutting area. Once it's as far as it can go, we can then hit B to cut it. That'll drop it down. We hit V to process it, and it breaks it into smaller chunks. So we're going to rinse and repeat that until we get this entire log finished. And 351 is the price that we were looking for. Go forward here, B one more time. Go ahead and push that forward and whoops, we forgot to chop it. Get that one in there and chop another one. And now let's hop out. One of the things I did notice is this conveyor belt here. It's a little buggy, so you can move things along, move it into the cell point. And I did it just directly into the cell point just to kind of help us out with this demo and you know validation of the cost of it. Let's go ahead and hit R. And we got 533. So this is giving us a little bit more money when we chop this into firewood. So it's definitely worth it. Very, very cool. So let's hop, well, let's grab this log over here. So we have this one that we cut down in this area and I kind of pre-fabricated it. And that's not the right word. I, I pre-chopped it to a good size. So we're gonna put it over here, but not touching these loading bars. I'm not sure what these are called. And then we're gonna grab the rest of this tree and we're gonna bring it over as well. And you know, we're just you're just simulating that we have the right machinery doing this for us and not cheating with super strength, but you can do whatever you want in your save. No one's judging you. So we'll get it there. We're gonna cut a couple down to about the same length. Do that, grab, whoops, grab this one, swing it on over, go ahead and chop that down, rinse and repeat. And I'll get these all squared away and meet with you in a second. All right, we got this all squared away. I'm gonna pile these up a little bit closer to the loading location. And just about like that. And then we're gonna hop back into the machine and we're gonna hit O. And it's a little buggy. Maybe we'll get good luck. Yeah, see like that, it gets a little bit stuck. And then sometimes you kind of come over here and help it out. This one might have been just a hair too long. But if you have, you know, forks or, or other things that can help you, you should be able to pull this off. And then we hit Z and you can see it is moving. It grabbed it. So we'll go ahead and process this entire one. I like to hit B and then I like to hit V and Z at the same time so I can move them forward and chop it. You can see we get a nice little cadence going here to speed up our progress. Just kind of rinse and repeat until we get to the end here. Oop, that one fell off. Gonna make some nice big chunks there. All right, now if we hit O again, 
it should automatically grab one that's nearby and attempt to load it. It struggled a little bit. Let's try it again. Things are getting a little chaotic. It's a little, like I said, it's a little buggy. Oh, 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 almost got it there. Let's see if we can, we can trick it here. We'll hit it and we'll hit Z real quick. And Z kind of helped it. Helped it a little bit. All right, let's get, we got two logs in here going good, but you can see they get a little stuck on the conveyor belts and I grabbed the wrong thing. Oh, wrong super strength. Wrong thing for super strength. Good for an example. Let's clean this mess up and rejoin. All right, I think we got it all sorted out. So everything from those two logs is in here. Let's take a little double check. Yep, I think we got it all. So let's see what kind of price that got us. You know, 1400 for just those two logs. Pretty sweet. So we've relocated to around our farm here to cut down a tree. So we cut these down into exactly five meter sections and I wanted to see if they would play nicer on this mod. And it seems like they are too big even though it told us that size is what we're looking for. So let's see what happens. They hit the tractor a little bit, but it does load on there pretty good. So let's get another one over here just to kind of play around with it and see, you know, the limitations. So let's go ahead and get this one processed real quick. We'll jump ahead forward so you don't have to watch it again. All right, so this is the last one we should have to chop. We'll get those going forward. We'll get that one going, and then we'll hit zero. Or O. Oh. And lifting this bigger one, it does not seem to be in favor of it. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. We'll throw this over here. We'll hop back in. We're going to move around little bit and we're going to adjust our cutting length to let's do four all right and we'll go ahead and we'll just chop these up right here why not get them exactly four meters and we'll see if that's any better. So we got a four meter log. This one is a pine, Ponderosa. Put that, you know, let's put it a little bit away so it has to automatically grab it and then we'll grab another one. And we'll see what it does. Go ahead and grab it and it missed it. So it missed it this time, put it down and it grabbed it the second time. Let's see if it can flip it over correctly. It did, nice. All right, so let's process this. All right, that one's all processed, and we grab the next one. And it seems to work pretty decent on the four meters. Pretty decent. So to give this mod complete justice, I wanted to go ahead and try one more thing. So let's get the conveyor belt going again. We have six foot logs, but the big thing that you might notice is we move the tractor out of the way. So let's go ahead and load it and look at that. Look at that. More issues. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping. So we got it on, and it seemed to work on the second try. I'm going to do some 5 foot, or 5 meter, and see if that's better. All right, so there's our 5 meter log. Let's hop on here. Let's see what happens. That loaded pretty nice. I'm going to say 5 meters is the sweet spot. I mean, overall, realistically, we would have had a trailer here to catch all of this, and we would have been able to process it. And what we learned today is we make more money off of this firewood that you could also, if you want to get really fancy, set up a little fireplace or campfire outside of your living quarters on your map and just enjoy, you know, role-playing that. I'm sure there's other mods that can catch it on fire for us. Overall, I'm going to keep using this mod. I would recommend it. It's fun. It is a little buggy, so I would recommend having super strength enabled so that you can get around some of those bugs sometimes. If you don't like playing that way, obviously you can use some more of the forestry tooling or machines to help you load the logs onto the firewood slicer. Pretty sweet mod in my opinion, and again, it gives you some extra money when you are selling the wood, so if you're doing a little survival challenge or you're starting off with hardly anything and you can decide, I want that selling point, a chainsaw and this machine to help you speed up your progress at the very beginning. It's definitely worth it for that. We're going to get the credit to Kenny456 for creating this mod. Well done, Kenny. I, I definitely dig it. It's a little buggy, but it is a very complicated 
piece of machinery that would be very hard to get completely perfect in this game without it just auto loading onto the conveyor belt which would have been easier but having this extra little lift arm makes it super realistic and again i dig it i do dig it um let's go to f1 and remember how to shut it off here i believe it's you that turns that on and then just like a normal thing we can shut the the motor off but yeah so i'm socks way up thanks for hanging out again i say i would recommend it i'm gonna keep using it like i mentioned and it's a pretty cool mod let me know what you think